Hi, hello everybody, welcome to today's episode. As you can see, I'm here at the main base, but what I actually have to show you today isn't here at the main base itself, but involves the actual portals. So if I hop through the portal here and go to uh, the last construction I uh, made, you can see the uh, little progress I made on this tunnel here. It only goes a little ways, it doesn't go very quick, uh, very far. But when I run all the way down here, I make it all the way to this portal on the opposite side. I uh, just make it all the way over here. And the little tunnel I began dugging out is all, com well, not completely dug out. There's still just one uh, base layer of netherrack needs to get dug out. But if I run all the way down uh, this tunnel, you can see off in the distance there. Uh, another portal is uh, up and running, in which case if I run all the way to it and jump through it, uh, let's eat some bread because I'm using up food quite quickly, uh, jump through it, I am now at the secondary base. So I now have significantly faster travel here and away from the secondary base. So that will be able to speed up uh, everything I'm doing quite well because... Ooh, me, just moving from here to the main base was actually becoming a big problem. But, um, I did want to show you guys another thing before I jump into today's project. Uh, oh, there's some melons in here, so, uh, do I have my homie? Yes, I do. Oh, let's hop in. All got harvested, got some pumpkins and a melon. Um, come back through here, uh, till all this land. And, uh, step back over the pressure plate. And, yep, yeah, nothing to harm, uh, they didn't uh, extend down, so that farm's nice and working as well, so, uh, completely operational. But, uh, when I jumped down here, uh, I noticed, uh, at some point, uh, I need to find out where this is, it's close by, hopefully snow didn't cover it up, or else I'm gonna be real sad, is it here? Yes, it is, this case, right here. I began noticing there was a lot of spider sounds coming around from when I was at that farm there, and if I dig all the way down here, ah, oh my god, okay, am I going to die down here? Uh, but I noticed that there was, uh, a lot of noises of spiders coming around from this area, and I decided to do a little bit of digging around, and I found what looks like a spider spawner. So, uh, I was wanting to hook up a XP farm at some point. I'm going to die. Uh, let me get out of here before I do. Um... I don't, I don't have any blocks in my hot bar, uh, so that, I'm going to use pumpkins. Uh, but yeah, uh, I found that down there, so I'm planning on, for today's episode, actually setting up an XP source, because I don't currently have one of those, and I want to begin doing more and more enchanting, because I want to enchant a lot of stuff. So I'm going to, for this episode, begin hooking that farm up to a genuine spawner. So... Uh, I'm going to be back with you guys with that nice and dug out and what my plans are going to be for setting that farm up. So I'm going to be back with you guys here in a minute with uh, torches and hopefully uh, a nice hollowed out area that I'll be using for the start of the farm. Okay, I've gone through and mined out the entire area that I'll be using for this. So uh, this is the interior room for the spawn. Above this will be uh, where the main standing platform will be. So I'm going to have to mine out the entire floor here and put in the main floor that I'll be using. I also need to uh, put in a nice little pillar uh, right above this thing. I need to actually uh, be able to reach it. But yeah, so that way the spiders don't get... Uh, stuck above the spawner so need to put that in uh but yeah now it's about time to actually begin putting in the water elevator that i'll be using for this so uh i need to ferry down some uh water from uh above ground so i can make an infinite pool in here and then begin making the elevator design that i want to begin doing but i need uh some signs because I don't have any wood on me. So I need to go back to the main base, grab some signs, uh, move some water down here, and uh, be back with you guys uh, when I have all of the resources down here. So, oh wait, why is there a torch here? That's not supposed to be there. Uh, I'll be back with you guys uh, with some of the resources so I can begin constructing the elevator. Okay, I've gotten all the resources I need for this, so I do want to test one little thing before I continue. I want to place down water here and see the spread and see where it ends. Yes, okay. So the spread here is working, so that is where it will 
spread too because I do need to make a note of that because that is where I need to begin pulling the spiders. So, uh, if I head over here and place into pressure plates, so over here, uh, create uh, this and then pressure plate, pressure plate, create two of those, place these both here, then I can create a water, have it flow that direction. Then I have water flowing in this direction. The spiders are too wide, so when they get pushed here, they'll automatically get pulled in to the elevator from that. So I need to now begin putting the signs in place. So uh, this one's going to be a bit more difficult because what I actually should be doing is moving that up to there now. So that way it's actually uh, not like that. Then I need to place in uh, two signs. So back here. This is going to be a stick and stick, uh, like this, and then uh, like this, and then I can uh, make uh, a sign, which I'm going to need another one, so another thing of wood, that's enough for a sign, so uh, like uh, this. So, uh, come back around here, sign there, and then a sign da -da -da -da, right over here. And then um, I'm going to need a sign down below where that water stream is. Oh, wait a second. Okay, yeah, I need another sign because it's flying, flowing over the pressure plate, which I don't need. So uh, three logs here should be enough for three signs. And oh no, two signs. My apologies. Uh, two signs. Um, so that's going to go here. Then I need uh, the other sign down here. Uh, actually, mm, let's place that in the correct area. Just like that, so that way we at least have consistency. Then you need to put a water source there. So, whenever a spider flows into here, it will get dragged um, to the side. Which, Oh, wait a second. I do need it down here. So I need to break that sign. And I do need to put the sign one up like that. Because I need to have the drag continue. So I need to have a uh, continuous drag in that direction. So I need it to be like that. Now I need to put a uh, sign uh, above my current water source and an additional sign uh, on the opposite side. So I need uh, one, two, one, two, uh, and then an extra two. So with this, this should be four signs. Uh, let's see how well I did. And yes, okay. And then craft all four signs. Okay. So with that, I need a sign here and a sign here. Then I can suspend a water there and I need to get back out of here and refill both of these buckets at my water stream. So boom, boom. Uh, yep, yeah, okay. Uh, come back around here and I can put in another one here. So. We now have a two thing of water that I need to now begin grabbing signs for and continuing upwards. So the next sign will go here and the next one will go over here. Um, now I need to place a water bucket there and a water bucket on the opposite side. So I will continue that all the way up to about the surface or so and I need to then count out a full range, in which case this is going to be a bit of experimentation or I can just look it up. So uh, I will have to calculate a fall distance for uh, the spiders so that way they fall the precise amount of distance um, and I'm also going to have to uh, wor uh, worry about uh, clinging because I am using a spider thing but yeah uh, that is a bridge I'm going to cross when I get to it. I want to first set up this farm before I begin worrying about uh, cling because I need to look at the a wiki for that. So I'm going to set up this elevator and I'll come back with you guys with the logistics of how this will be working. All right, I have gone through and put in the water streams, but I also want to begin discussing how I'm actually going to begin handling uh, the spiders around here now because um, I need to be talking about how I'm going to get the spiders to work because obviously they are going to do needs to be dropped a certain number of blocks so they can take a certain amount of fall damage, then they're going to be need to be punched. So this is going to be interesting because as of the last 
pre-release, their health got adjusted, I believe. According to the wiki, I believe it's, it said that it was adjusted in uh, pre-3, so uh, from 20 to 16. So this is actually going to be interesting. So hopefully it doesn't change again during these uh, pre's. But um, with the new pre, they now are going to have a total of 8 hearts opposed to 10 hearts. So whenever they're going to get dropped, I need to drop them a total of 19 blocks. So that way they are a one hit punch whenever I punch them. So um, I do need to begin considering uh, that for this. But I do want to show you guys the water stream and what my strategy for this is going to be to avoid spider climb. Because spider climb is going to be a massive problem for killing them actually. So if I go around here and jump into this water stream, this water stream is now completely filled. Uh, so it is now a full elevator going all the way up to uh, a certain uh, height uh, before eventually it is going to pull and push me into a certain direction. Yeah, it's going to pull me in this way. And it's going to push me all the way down to this end. And it's going to drop me down onto some iron bars. Uh, if I jump off of this, uh, I need to do this and you're going to see I drop a certain amount of di uh, distance, in which case I have two and a half hearts uh, left. Which, um, when I do the math for that, that would show that uh, the spiders are going to be left, are going to take a total of seven and a half hearts, which would mean they're going to be at one hit when they drop down onto these iron bars. But another thing of note, I need to stop the spider climb, so that way when they drop down, they're not going to uh, begin uh, climbing up here, basically escaping me. So I need some way in order to stop them. So what I've done is I've outlined this whole thing here in fences. So you might be wondering, oh, why did you outline that in fences? Well, if I jump down here and go over to my little testing area, uh, a spider can only climb across a completely flat surface. So something like this, if I'm able to jump, that means the spider can climb it. So if I push W against the surface and hit space, I'm uh, jumping across it, so that means the spider can climb this surface here. Uh, but if I were to walk around here, there's a chest here. Um, this chest, it looks like it is less than a block large. However, that's not correct. Because if I push myself up against it, that's not how these chests work. That chest is a full block. Because when I hit, hit W against it and hit space, I'm able to go uh, jump against it. So that means a spider is able to climb across this chest. But with the newest addition, fences changed. Fences used to be a full block. Oh, I accidentally broke that torch. Let me replace that for... Uh, your guys' uh, viewing pleasure. Um, the fences just got changed, so they're now less than a block uh, thick. So if I push myself up against this fence and it's space, you see I'm not jumping. So if a spider, spider uh, cramps itself up against a fence, that means it is no longer able to spider climb because it now has a overrise above it, and a spider isn't able to climb around overrises. They're only able to climb up completely flat surfaces like this. So this would mean that the spider will functionally become stuck if it attempts to, spy, uh, to climb across a fence. So as long as I have fences outlining where the drop is, the spider will not be able to climb its way out. But this is all theoretical as of right now because now is the time that I have to test that. Uh, so I'm going to block all of that off, and I need to come all the way up here, and I need to fill in the roof, so that way spiders don't begin jumping in the water, because if the spiders jump in the water, uh, if it jumps off the edge, it will take too much damage and die from impact. So I need to come all the way up here, and then begin to put a surface like this above the whole thing. But I do need to uh, leave a little bit of space for myself, so that way I actually can get in and out right now. But this is what I need to begin doing. So I'm going to uh, put the flat top over here, then I'll be back with you guys to flood the surface and test how the spiders are going to be spawning. Okay, the entire top up there is sealed up, so all that needs to be done is I need to uh, pick up my bed here, and begin spreading the water and hopefully survive the onslaught that is about to beset me when I do this. So, I need to go through here and destroy this little back line of torches here. Um, and I need to move quickly now. So, uh, 
Water here. Oh, water here. Water here. Oh, crap. Uh, I need to pick both of those up. Spiders are going to be in spawning. I uh, here. Here. Move quickly. Move quickly. Move quickly. Uh, here. Ah, no. The new water mechanics are going to do mess me up now. Uh, because you can place water on top of water in the newest update. So, uh, this is going to be interesting. Spider move. Uh, okay, now I need to come along here and place in all of these singularly. Uh, move back here, foul demons. Uh, foul brooker, move back! <laughs> um, okay. Go away. I need you guys go away real bad right now. Because I need to place all of these ones singularly. This is a problem. Ah! No, go away. Um, and, uh, like this. Okay. Now I also need to grab from here and here. Go back. Ah, there's so many. I think I'm going to die in here. Oh, wait, I have a sword. I'm still going to die, but... Yeah, I'm gonna die now. <laughs> oh boy. But yeah, okay, I got all the water in. So I just need to jump down there and grab my items that are now at the bottom of the stream. Which, whoo, that's going to be the fun part. But this is a quick uh, travel back. So I just need to go over there and hopefully grab all my items. But all the water's in place now. So I just need to be very quick. And I also can theoretically be in testing out to see all the spiders. Uh, be a dying or not so uh, I just need to make the quick run back okay I got all my items back just now and you can hear all the spiders down below me I also probably should go to sleep so that way uh, I don't have to worry about any other mobs but I don't think I will be able to so but let's try it um, yeah I'm gonna go to sleep here as the spiders begin to drop down they're transferring across the top now oh, I was able to sleep actually uh, let's see if they drop down they did and not able to... Oh, they are able to climb. Okay, so this is the problem I was worried about. Uh, so I might need to replace the... Yeah, so this is what happens when this uh, occurs. Um, I need to grab my diamond pick and break this bar here. Then I need to put in an extra two things of... Uh, so here, here, uh, then it's going to be this one, this, uh, this, uh, this, this, and this. And that's all going to get broken. Then I need to move this back, and boom. Okay. In which case, I can jump up and grab all those items. So, uh, I don't know if I'm able to hit through here, but I'll be seeing if I can here in a second, hopefully. Because if I can't, then I just need to break this again. Uh, but, drop down soon, hopefully. Are they dropping down? There's like a whole bunch of them backing up. This is, might be a problem. I'm not I'm hearing a whole bunch of them, but I'm not seeing any of them falling down. Oh, okay, that one died, apparently. They're dying for some reason. Hmm. This is a problem. Oh boy, is this going to be a failed project? Come on, need more of you. I need to test things. Theoretically, if I act fast enough and punch them before they uh, begin climbing, this will work. But I need them to come through first. I can hear so many of them, but none of them are moving. What's the problem? Is the water stream not working? They're also just immediately dying. Okay, so that worked. Uh, so we had one worked. We had a successful single spider that we were able to collect XP from. This may not be functional. I may need to do this with a different spawner. Oh boy. I might uh, need to abandon this one 
and do a completely different one. This might be fun. Because I'm not seeing this working. Oh no. Why isn't this working? Uh, let's try busting you out. Do I see any that... Oh yeah, okay, so a whole bunch of them... Oh, are they able to aggro me through blocks? Ooh, that might be a problem if they're able to aggro me through blocks. So, wait, what if I stand over here? Will this fix it? Oh, okay, so I have to stand over here by, like, this door, basically. So they're able to aggro me through blocks. Interesting. I didn't know that was a thing they had. Then I stand over here. Oh, but they're too high up. No! Uh, okay, how do I fix this? This is a problem. Uh, I need to mine out this iron bar then? That'll, that should help. Gotta mine that out slowly. Okay, and then... Okay, I think this is working a lot better now that I know uh, the system. Okay, so I gotta stand over here. Let them all flow up. Because they're all gonna pathfind me. And they're going to begin all flowing up this water stream. Oh, okay, I gotta stand a little bit farther back, like at the store hinge or something. All going to slowly flow up there. As they begin to accumulate up there, I move over to this direction. And when they fall down, I can punch them from here. Um, they won't be able to climb up because of all, uh... The fences are nice and put out there. Okay, that one died. That one also died. Problematic. Got some XP. This is very slow XP. Might need to make a different farm because these spiders with their climbing and aggroing are being difficult. Hmm. Yeah, this might be a thing for that we need to carry into next episode, but dot, designing a different farm. Because this is, uh, I'm getting quite a bit of string off this, but this is not working out as well as I thought it would. So, I might need to do something else for the next episode. Hmm. Interesting. Looks like all the spiders stopped spawning, so I need to move over back to here. In which case, I can close this door and do that. Um, and then I'll see them flowing past, I think. Yep. One. Two. And this is the third one I'll walk over. And, oh, I just turned another one up. Okay, that's the third. So now I need to stand over here. Okay. Worked for the one. That one died, okay. Hmm. It's very interesting. Very slow XP. My, yeah, I definitely need to consider something else because this is not working. But anyways, guys, that should be it for today's episode. Uh, did a whole bunch of work on the spider farm, which apparently is not uh, as operational as I thought it would be. If any of you guys have ideas on how I can uh, fix it, because I do would I would prefer greatly to uh, solve the problem with them uh, collecting and uh, attempting to aggro me through walls, opposed to um, and also uh, climbing up and killing themselves before uh, they achieve the fall. I would prefer to fix both of those issues before just moving on and making, like, a zombie or skeleton farm. Uh, but, uh, with that, uh, 
bit of little thing made. Next episode, with that said, we're either going to be fixing the spider farm or uh, be just making a new one entirely. Um, so I guess I'll be catching you guys for that episode because today is going to be the end of this one. So see you in the next one. Um, bye.